Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They liked it. They liked it, dude. It did well. They liked it. Liked what? The the show. The show, Isaiah. The the, the early early show. They liked it. It did well. We have to we have to go. We have to do. We, put some pants on. We have to film another episode. Put some freaking pants on. When you're up too late to procrastinate and you know there's nothing on TV When you can see the sun and the day's begun and the rest of your night's looking free When you've nothing left to do, open up YouTube and click on something to see the TV When the creeps are out and Captain Owl's about You know it's time to get online and watch The Early Early Show with me! All right, so that was a uh, that was a cold open. I I didn't know we were gonna do those every episode, and to be honest, we might not. We might we very well we we very well might not do a cold open every episode, and we might you know it's it's only episode two, so we can we can do things now and not not keep doing them. So you know that's totally fine. But anyway, it is a fantastic time on campus, uh, and I will tell you why it's a fantastic time on campus because they have implemented these new little robots. They have these like, like these tiny little uh, kiwi bots around campus, and they're you know roaming around. They make hard eyes at people. They're uh, making weird, sad uh, noises. They're uh, you know just taking a lot of data and learning a lot about Southern. Um, and soon they will be delivering food to the uh, good students. Uh, on campus, so that's kind of cool. You've seen these, right? Yeah, no, they're my cousins. Your cousins? Uh, oh, so yeah. you're related to these to these machines, then? Oh yeah, I'm related to all of them. You know, my cousin Vinny, my cousin Mike, my other cousin Vinny. Yeah, it's a common name, I guess. Just happy they got the job, you know. Right. Yeah. No, it's good they got. Um, you know, humans could have had that that job though, but. No, no, it's good, it's good. Um, but anyway, we were curious about these robots, as any, I think, uh, good-natured man would, about these strange machines encroaching on our on our campus here. So uh, I, we sent out a couple of ace reporters to uh, get get the scoop on, uh, on what exactly these robots are and what kind of business they mean here on campus. Are you recording? I am recording. Okay. I have to record every second of it. Here we are. We're walking through the hallways right now. And we're gonna try to find this robot. Robot has been seen patrolling around campus as of late. And I think we're gonna find him. We need to expose the robot. We need to expose the robot. Um, we'll go straight. We'll go straight looking for this robot. To be honest, wait, do you hear that? No, I thought it was something else. I thought it was the robot, but it was must have been something else. Mission accomplished. We found, we found their base of operations. We found their base of operations. This is the biggest, this is the biggest revolution I think we could have possibly found. And I didn't think we'd find it. We know the source. We made it to the source. Now, all that's left is the attack. We're gonna hit him where it hurts. I wish we could have seen one walking around, but I guess they've gone to sleep. They're all hiding. They're all hiding. They know we're on to them. 
Boss, yeah. you're not gonna believe it. What? We didn't just find one robot. No. We found them all. You found them all? How'd you find them all? We found their base of operations that is on this floor of the student center. Really? Yeah! That's remarkable. Come, come, come. Okay. Stop. You, you, it's there, it's oh, there. It's still, okay. There. It's there. Okay. Do you see it? This is the make or break moment. It turns. It's looking right at us. You made a noise. We gotta go now. Be brave. It's not like it's in pain. <laughs> Our campus is doomed. This is the future of food delivery. I'm Spencer Lane reporting on the robot invasion. Signing off. All right, so, um, yeah, so those robots are kind of a menace, you know? When you really think about it, they're, they're kind of, they look a little scary. No, you're fine. Not, not you, not you. Uh -huh. Just, you know, you're fine. I like you, but I'm saying those other robots, ooh, they, they are causing... I'm one of the good ones? Yeah, you are definitely one of the good ones. You know, I mean, I built you myself. I kind of raised you up, you know, so you're, you're, you're good, but... Man, those kiwi ones, I don't know, the, the way they make the hard eyes, I, uh, it's kind of creepy. I think they're just being nice. I really yeah, do. Uh, too nice. They're being a little too nice for my liking, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see how they do. It is uh, that time of night, you know, you see I get my phone out, so you, you can assume what, what's, what segment we're going to do. Last Now, on the last episode, I tried to call my grandmom, and things went astray. Things went a little not the way I thought they were going to go. I'm not going to get into what happened, but things just, they did not go the way that I had thought uh, that they were going to go. It did not go the way that it was supposed to happen. So I'm going to try to call her again, because like I said, she's a very uh, wise woman. I think she would love to talk on my show and say some words of wisdom and just, you know, I, I never got the chance to tell her that I had a show. And I wanted, she was very excited. She always supports me. So I wanted to tell her, uh, that I had a show. So anyway, let me just uh, call her. And it's her number this time. Make sure it's her number. Um... Oh. Well... well okay. Uh, when, when should you know the line's busy? <laughs> the line's busy. She must be talking to someone else at 2, two, uh, two in the morning. Um, but... Mine's busy, so uh, maybe next time. Maybe next time we'll talk to my grandma. And now it's time for... Tweets and emails. So, uh, this is the part of the show where I would read all of the tweets and uh, emails that you guys have sent into the show, but uh, we didn't get any. We didn't get a single tweet. I have a Twitter account now. There's an email. Yeah, it's kind of funny. We, we didn't get any tweets, so no questions to answer. Um... So yeah, dude, but we, we could just answer some, we could just make up questions. Like, what's a question do you think someone would ask? Like, what, what question do you think someone might ask us? Uh, yeah, I got a question. Okay, okay, what's your question? You think, you think like, okay, so the line's busy with your grandma. You think like, the old ladies, like, they stay up and talk on the phone, like teenagers, but instead of talking about like, high school and like boys they talk about like their uh their aarp benefits and um old men instead mm. of boys yeah probably like george clooney you know like stuff like that mm. yeah and and like uh yeah no they probably do it or um you know burt reynolds he's another one like you know he was like 
in his time, you know, but now he's like, kind of older. But I'm, I'm sure, like, my grand, my, my grandmom and her friends probably like, oh, yeah. talk about well, Burt Reynolds. Dead, so. He is, but, you know, they could still talk about him. Uh, and, yeah, no, they probably do. And you know what's cool about that is no one can stop them because they're, you know, like, like assumably they, they don't have, like, their parents around, you know. Mm-hmm. So they can they can just talk all night if they want. No one's going to be like, oh, go to bed. They can just be up there. So, you know, she's probably, she's probably on the phone right now talking about glory days with, with Burt Reynolds and, and, and George Clooney talking about, you know, you know, cars, horns that go, ah, go, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he could do it. He could do it. I'm part car horn. Yeah, I did put that car horn in you. I thought it'd be really funny. So you can just, yeah. Um, all right, yeah. So another question, like, no, I don't have a question, actually. So. Question for yourself? Yeah, I know. I can't think of anything. I don't really have too many questions for myself, other than, like, you know, why am I doing this? But What gives you the right? What gives me the right? Well, I'm programming director. I'm programming director of TV Club, so I can just produce whatever the heck I want, you know? I can, I can just make whatever <laughs> show I want. I can I can put on I can put on this show. I can I can I can veto other shows and say no we're not making that. You know, I have all the power. Close this match. It's mine. Can it's mine. Up. I can make I can make I can make whatever show I 94% want. Ninety four percent match. I could snap at any moment. Margin of error. Everything's glorious under my reign as programming director. Okay, let me tell you, things have things have gotten a hundred times better since I got on here. That is the nuclear bomb I installed, but it's not. That's we're testing it just to see what it's like. You know, I'm thinking about using it. You know, in operations because I don't know what operations does, but I kind of think it'd be funny to like nuke them. You know, so the programming department we have been doing some nuclear tests, and we do have some bombs, but you know, it, it's not a big deal. You don't have to like worry about it or anything. So yeah, it, it's fine. It's fine. All right, now guys, we have our first guest on the show, Isaiah Torres, a programming assistant for SCU TV Club. Let's see, Isaiah. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Yeah, that's that's a sound I of one hand. hand. Is the sound of one hand clapping? Yeah, whatever. What is the sound okay, of one hand clapping? Sit, sit down, sit down. Okay. I don't know. I can't. So Isaiah, thanks for being our first guest on the show. How does it feel? You're breaking breaking your ground here. I know. Like a, it's not quite fourth wall breaking. No, but it's no. Uh, it's in yeah. that realm. It's in that because realm. you're well. Because so for the audience who might not know, maybe they, they skip through the, the intro or whatever. Um, Isaiah's personality has been copied almost perfectly and uh, put into uh, Manny Turner. Um, sometimes, so sometimes you hey, might. It's me. Right, right now he's my clone. Right now it's it's uh, 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 my. Right now it is uh, uh, Spencer Lane's personality in there, um, which again you, you've seen the opening. But for for other times it's Isaiah. So it's it's got to be weird for Isaiah to see that stuff because it's like listening to himself. Which I know you hate. Well, I yeah, but it's more that I'm looking at myself with someone else's voice, which is yeah, you know. It's more that I'm looking okay. at myself with someone else's voice. You sound just like him. It's, I know you're so good at uh, impressions. That's like kind of awesome. It takes the job. Yeah, that's that's good. The reason he's on the show right now is I. It is my understanding that you have written a book on trains and the industrialization like like you've written like modern trains <laughs> what like you have this you wrote you said it's gonna it's gonna reinvent the way that we look at locomotives that's like on the front cover yeah, the the book is called thomas the train <laughs> the tank engine um <laughs> it's a it's a really great book i think you guys will <laughs> like it i don't get it Thomas the Tank Engine? Yeah. Like the show? No, no, no. This is, but it's a book. It's different. But a book. Is it at all similar to the show? Uh, voiced, uh, narrated by Ringo Starr. Of the the first few seasons, yeah. The first few seasons, yeah. Seasons, yeah. Is it at all similar to that show? I'm, I'm voiced not by at, Ringo Starr I'm, in the first I'm season. not at liberty to say. Not at liberty. I can't legally say. Okay. So, and, but you, it, it, it's my understanding that this was a non-fiction novel. Like you, you like you're like you wrote this as an engineer for, like the uh, other engineers of, of trains to use in the process of like making new trains. So I know I know it's not out yet, so we, we can't really talk too much. But so it, are you like insinuating that we should be making trains in a more biological sense, like closer to the, the engine 
Jones and Thomas? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the future. Okay. You know, bullet trains that, you know, will put a bullet in you. I mean, that. Right. Well, that's not where we're going. No. But the concept is there. Because they have personalities. So they could hypothetically hate and hate for mankind, which this guy knows all about. I have to. Yeah. He constantly gets like this hate for mankind. I have to like keep writing it out. It's like I, as soon as I patch out the hate for mankind, it comes back with a even stronger than before. It's kind of a problem. Good thing it doesn't run in the family. They're no, no, he's the kiwi bots. They're literally they're, the kiwi bots are tearing down the forest. Dude, the, the, the kiwi bots. I'm telling you right now, the kiwi bots. They're bad. They're what? Bad. They're bad. No, we're talking over here. You're over there. Don't worry. He, he said he's glad. He said he's glad. They're of what? Uh, not the, the kiwi. Kiwis, I like kiwis. We're talking about fruit over here, nothing you would relate to. It's food, food stuff. You wouldn't know. <laughs> He's glad he got the kiwis. Yeah, they you were on sale. sale. Yeah, they were on sale. They, uh, and, yeah, they're, they're bad. They're dangerous. I get kiwi juice in my circuits, and it makes me act funny. Ah, yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, that's canon. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So the train thing, that's cool. You know what's weird is, so it's Thomas the Tank Engine, but you know, there's that 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 Percy guy. Now he's green. Isn't that something? Because <laughs> there's there's Percy. You wrote the book on it. What are you talking about? There's there's yeah, Percy. Yeah, I totally wrote the book on it. And he's totally wrote the book. I wrote the book. And he's and he's and, but he's green. You understand me, right? And now Thomas, we all know is is like a nice baby blue. He's like a nice baby blue. This, okay. this Thomas. Okay, okay. Thomas. But then Percy comes along. He's another train engine. He's got a whole different face and everything. And he's green. That's, that's all, okay, trains can be different. I'm just saying, isn't that like, like in two different, in the same show, there's two different colors. <laughs> As opposed to any other show, which only has like one color or no color. I'm just saying, if the show is Thomas the Tank Engine and Thomas is blue, that makes me think that like the whole show should be like all blue things. <laughs> You know, like the you Power know. Rangers. Now listen to me. The Power Rangers, they they had they were the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. There was like a whole bunch of them. There's like at least three or four colors that they had, like of them. They had like the, you know, there was like the yellow one, the black one, the red one, you know, some other colors. And 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 but the thing is, the show was the Power Rangers with with an S at the end. It was plural. So you went into it expecting to see multiple characters, multiple colors. Now Thomas the okay. Tank Engine, Thomas okay. the Tank Engine. It, his, it's just his name. So when I'm watching Thomas the Tank Engine, it's making me think like all I need to think about is Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas. He's the only character that matters, his name. You know, it's like if you had like the early, early show with Spencer Trout. It's like, you really, you know, eh, whatever. But, you know, Thomas the Tank Engine, he's the only important one. You know, he's the main character. So I would just assume going into the show, okay, I can just kind of turn my brain off. I only have to think about one color. But then Percy comes along and he's freaky he's fucking green he's not retired though he's still working as opposed to green and retired who we all know his story but uh percy he's he's just green and i i just was do you cover do you touch on that in your book at all like that'll be in the sequel the I'll, sequel i'll, I'll make shit i was supposed to say it's okay <laughs> uh I'll, I'll i'll cut it out um i'll cut it out i'll cut it out Thank no, you. You, Thank you. You, yeah Whew. Um, um, but anyway, so, yeah, so trains and, and robots like and, 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 uh, and, uh, and, um, sports. You don't like sports. You like trains? Don't like sports. That's fine. At least you like something, you know? You know, at least you're not some boring guy who doesn't like anything. You know? I like trains. Don't like trains. Ooh, trains, but not training. Uh, that's good. All right. Hold on. Cut. Cut to, cut to him for a second. While I have your captive attention, I would like to bring up a few, ro a few robot inventory items. Number one, I feel like um, the winter season is coming, and my metal is getting a lot colder, and. All right, uh, d d shut up, shut up. I gave you a coat. Okay, come back to me. He's he's talking. I'm not. I, you're fine. You're keep my room at an okay temperature. It's livable. Um, 
So Isaiah, before we close out the show and this great, and, and you go back to doing whatever the hell you do on a on a lonely Thursday morning like this. Um, I see the moon out that window actually. Sorry, that's that's random. But uh, anyway, um, tells you how early it is. Uh, but anyway. Um, let's, you know what, uh, before I forget it, because I forgot it last week, I don't want to forget it again, um, let's do Fact Frog, when, which you'll be here for, so yeah, let's, we'll for let's, time. let's hear what Fact Frog has to say. Более 150 человек были убиты на концерте BTS в Хэллоуин. Wow, that was, that was dark this week. It was a dark fact, you know, statistics like that can really, they can hurt you know, hearing it, that's just kind of scary. I don't, it's gonna, you know, think about, how, it make me think about how I spend my holidays, I'll tell you that much. Totally, totally. This guy knows. So, Isaiah, you know what, why don't you do the honor? You you, you can close out the show today. You know, you, you close it out. Just close it out. Close. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. Well, it's, you know, you know, usually, usually, like, you usually, you, you thank him for watching. Oh, yeah, no, we don't do that here. No? Okay. No, no, okay, okay, okay. You, you know, you thank him for watching, tell him, you know, thanks, you know, and, and check it out. Like, like, no, it's, we're, not, we're, we're, we're not built for YouTube, we're just, you know, but we're, just we're on YouTube. We're not, like, uh, YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? Right. We're, 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 we're television, we are uh, SEC we're TV, we're TV club, yeah, we're programming we're video, we're programming. Yeah, that ends up on YouTube, but, uh, right, right, right. Anyway, so, yeah, so close out the show for the audience. You know, so you, you take it away. Do I understand? Okay. You can do whatever you want. You're the mayor. You're the mayor. Um, thank you for watching. You should you should stand. Should you should you should stand. Should you should stand. 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 Yeah, you're talking to the whole audience. I mean, that's like three people, dude. Um, <clears throat> thank you for watching the early early show. Um, glad to be here for you know the second episode. You know, maybe you'll see or hear me rather. You know, back on there. Um, there's no way that you are in that shot right now, but you keep going. In this, this shot? Oh, oh, he is? Okay, well, you keep going. I'm Thank you, really in, in turn. I'm right. All right, no, okay, go, go. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take away from your whole, your, your, this is your shot. This, this is your shot. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Close. I'm very sorry. I'll, I'll look over here. Um, you'll probably, probably catch us very soon. And, uh, hope to see you. Don't forget, we have the Twitter now, and we have email. You can email us, tweet at us. You know, ask us questions, please. We'll answer them. Probably late, but we'll answer them. Um, early. Early. Or early. Early, early. Very early. Early, early. Um, and that's all. Email? What is this, the 17th century? <laughs> Good one, Manny. <laughs> what a kicker. Okay, uh, thanks, Isaiah. Thanks, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could, I don't know. Yeah, you could go. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Okay. Yeah, I just pulled your IP. I've got it right here. <laughs> yeah, no, we are not. Uh, we are not letting him uh, close out the show. No, we're not doing that. Um, so why don't you make sure this camera's still on me? Um, forgot my jacket. Oh yeah, we're not doing anything. We're just you know. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, I'm just talking to him because I know it's me and him, right? Are you guys? Yeah. Are you guys closing out the show again? No. no, no, we're talking. I'm not. I'm no, no. You, you, you're all set. You're all set. You can. Um, why you can just. Hmm. Why is he behind the camera? Behind the camera. Oh no! Well, he's. You know, we we just we're having a, a we're 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 letting him go. We're letting him go. So we're we're shutting it down. We're you having a conversation. We're we're letting him. We're letting him go. He's you can go home. Not good. After the whole sound incident and everything, we're you know he's he's and the lighting was off again today. So we're we're actually we're letting him we're letting him go. So. Okay, good. Because if you guys were recording the end again, I'd feel like. Really no, that'd be awful. No, we would never do that. We would, you closed out the show. It was your day. You were the guest. You closed out yeah. the show. Yeah. But no, you, sh you should go now, though, because we're trying to have this awkward conversation with our intern, and we don't, you know, it's not a place for you. You know, you're the guest. I want you to, you know, sit, take it easy, you know, go, go. Oh, okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Something sure. like that. Yeah, see, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll be seeing us, yeah. Okay. Bye. Yeah, bye. See you. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be. Okay. For the for the record, you're not. You're not. You're good. You're a good intern. Okay, yeah, you're safe. All right. So we're at the end of the show now. Uh, for real, of course. Um, because we're not we're not we're not letting him uh, do that. But anyway. Uh, so it's time for us to talk, as it is getting quite early. 
What did we learn on the show this morning? Now, uh, I learned that our campus is under attack, and for real this time, not not the roaches thing. That was I know that that was disproven, but I'm saying this time it's real. The robots, they're the Kiwi bots. Not you. You're good. You're good. But but you know the 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 you know we're under attack this time. And it's real. What did you learn this morning? This morning, I learned that Isaiah. Um, well. I'm just gonna let the numbers speak for themselves. One. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. You should not. You should. I don't. I forgot you're like a, a computer. Sometimes that's, 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 we don't got a dox a guy. I know he's kind of annoying, but we don't, we don't got a dox a guy. Now that we know what we learned this morning, let's go into what did we forget this morning. Now I'll tell you. Uh, I forgot that segment that we were supposed to do. But uh, honestly, it was it was not worth remembering. Like now that I remember it, I'm kind of embarrassed. So I'm, I'm glad that I forgot it. But uh, what, what did you forget, Manny? I forgot pretty much everything from the entire interview that you had with Isaiah. If you asked me anything besides the title of the book, I wouldn't be able to remember it. Yeah, well, it's easy to remember because he stole it from a TV show. Precisely. Narrated by Ringo Starr of the Beatles. From the first and second season. Yes. Um, now, anyway, uh, as we did last time, uh, and now last time I played the harmonica out, um, but this time I think it'd be special. Why don't you play it? Play, play us a little bit of uh, harmonica. Ah, uh, yes. Allow me to load up my harmonica file. <laughs> Thursday night.